Is your game stuttering, FPS dropping, or Windows running slow? Don't worry, this is the only guide you need in 2025 to fully optimize Windows 10 or 11 for gaming. I'll walk you through every step to boost FPS, fix input lag, and unlock smoother gameplay. So let's get started right now. Step 1. Optimizing CPU cores to optimize Windows for gaming. To make your CPU cores work better for gaming, press the Windows key and type System Configuration. Open that program and go to the Boot tab. Click on Advanced Options, then check the box that says Number of Processors. From the drop-down list, choose the highest number you see. This makes sure your CPU uses all its cores fully. After choosing it, click OK, then click Apply, and close the menu. This setting helps your CPU work at full power, which can make your system faster, reduce lag, and make games smoother. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Apply registry tweaks to improve Windows performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make Windows run better, you can change some registry settings. These registry tweaks make your CPU and GPU perform better. This helps reduce lag, makes games load faster, and stops FPS drops when you play Fortnite. These tweaks work for Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA GPUs. Doing these small changes helps Fortnite run smoother and makes your whole gaming experience better. It also helps keep your system more stable when you play. Step 3. Unparking CPU cores for Windows. Maximum performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I will show you how to use a tool called Unpark CPU to make sure all your CPU cores are active. First, install the Unpark CPU application. After it finishes installing, right-click the program and choose Run as administrator. This step is important because it lets the app use all parts of your system. When the app opens, it will show if your CPU cores are parked, inactive, or active. Parked cores don't work fully, which can slow down your system, especially while gaming or doing hard tasks. To fix this, click the Unpark button in the program. This will turn on all CPU cores, so they all work, and this can make your system a lot faster. Step 4. Improve Windows CPU Performance with Throttle Stop. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your CPU run even better, you can use a tool called Throttle Stop. This tool unlocks your CPU's full power for better gaming. First, go to the Tools folder, open the Throttle Stop folder, and run throttlestop.exe. When it opens, you will see different power modes like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. For the best gaming, pick Game Power Plan, then check the box that says High Performance. Out of all the choices, High Performance is best for gaming. In the Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings areas, you don't need to change anything. Just click Disable Turbo to make the performance more stable. After doing this, click Turn On, then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop open in the background while gaming to keep your CPU working at its best. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimizing System Memory using ISLC program. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I will show you how to use the ISLC program to make your memory work better. First, find your total memory shown at the top of the ISLC window. Then, set the list size to half of that number. For example, if you see 32,000 MAB, type 16,000. If it says 16,000 MAB, type 8,000. Now check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon. 
On the right side, check Enable Timer Resolution and set it to 0.50. Leave the polling rate at 1000, unless your system is very slow. If it is slow, change it to 1000. When you are done with these settings, click Stop, then click Start, and then click Purge Standby List to finish. Step 6. Reduce Keyboard Input Lag, using Filter Keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter now I will show you how to make your keyboard react faster by using a program called Filter Keys Setter. First, open the program. You will see some settings that you need to change. Set Ignore Under to 0 ms. Set Repeat Delay to 130 ms. And set Repeat Rate to 10 ms. 10 ms. After entering these values, check the small box on the right side of the program to turn on the settings, then click OK to save them. These changes will make your keyboard respond faster, so there will be less delay when you type or play games. Step 7. Disable HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops to make your system smoother and stop FPS drops. You need to turn off something called High Precision Event Timer HPET. First, right-click the Start button and choose Device Manager. When the Device Manager window opens, click on System Devices. Look through the list and find High Precision Event Timer HPET. Right-click it and choose Disable. Turning off HPET can stop stuttering and FPS drops in games and make your frames more stable. HPET controls certain timing events, but turning it off helps your system run smoother without extra delays. Step 8. Disable unnecessary startup apps to optimize Windows. Now I will show you how to stop apps from starting when you turn on your PC. This will make your computer run faster. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ES key to open Task Manager. When it opens, go to the Startup tab. You will see a list of programs that start when your PC turns on. Look through the list and find apps you don't need to start automatically. Right-click each one and choose Disable. Turning off apps you don't use will save system power and help your PC start faster and run better. If this guide helped you, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tips to boost performance. See you in the next video.